today we're going to talk about the pressure of the grip, how tightly or loosely should be held, um, and this is a this is a really important factor with how we how we grip the club. Um, in recent times, we've we've often heard of it the term more of a hold than a grip, and I, and that's been for a really good reason, and, it, and that's to try and encourage players to avoid clinging on to the club too much, holding it too tightly. Uh, I think we sometimes are guilty of feeling like holding tighter is what gives us more control over the club. Um, but I really want you to avoid that. I really want you to sort of um, dispel that misconception, that myth. Okay. Again, a probably a good analogy of this is, is how you would use a pen to write your name. So you're so, you know, if I said to you, like, write your name and you grabbed a pen and you held it tightly in the palm of your hand, your handwriting would be awful because in reality, you've got less control. It's when you hold it in the fingers, the floppy fingers, as we were taught at primary school, um, would actually create more control. So I want you to think of, of the way you grip the club in a similar way. Okay, so, so we're gonna try and make sure we avoid that clinging on to tight pressure okay if it, if it if it also we get a bit too tight with the clasp and it's what what might happen to the shot well I, I certainly it will affect how much tension we create in these forearms it it certainly will shorten these muscles okay it's really affecting mobility in the hands and arms through the shot okay so so that would be something that might happen. We're, we're, we're certainly not encouraging good club head speed by holding the club too tightly. And also, again, if we are shortening the muscles in our forearms here, landing the club on the ground becomes more challenging. So it's a really common of, of topping the ball if we're, if we're holding too tightly. Okay, so, so let's think about getting this pressure right then and, and one thing you'll you'll certainly see and probably most of the best players do is before they hit the golf ball you often see them waggling the club just a nice back and forth motion okay now it's the great thing to do because by keeping your hands moving it helps to keep them free of tension so there's no there's not that urge to to, to cling on to the club too much and I suppose if, if we put this on a scale of one being nothing and ten being as tight as you could hold the club, I'm only really looking for a three or four here. So we're certainly down the, the lighter end of the scale. Okay, we really don't need a huge amount of pressure on the club to, to control it. Okay, so so what I want you to do for me is just is just to take that hold. Just waggle it off a little bit. Okay, feel the way your, your wrists are able to move freely in a, in a flexible way. Okay, so when we come to swing the golf club, the momentum of that golf club then is going to move nice and freely. Okay, because I haven't restricted any any of that mobility with a hand. Okay, so. I'd love you to all try that at home, okay, and just get a real sense of what of what the co correct pressure really feels like.